I rise in support of H.R. 399, better known as the Small Business Advocacy Improvement Act. The SBA Office of Advocacy is charged with looking out for the interest of small business across the entirety of the federal government. In many cases, this means calling out the negative impacts of regulations that are hurting small business or looking for inefficient rules that are preventing small businesses from competing for government contracts. This legislation expands the SBA Office of Advocacy mission to include advocating for small businesses on international trade issues. As our economy has become more and more inter interwined with the uh, rest of the world, overseas markets have become more accessible for small businesses. However, when various regulations come out setting the rules of the road for trade agreements, small business voices can easily be drowned out. This bill solves this problem and ensures that Main Street America has someone fighting for their interest in international trade regulations and uh, they are being created. I want to thank my friend from Missouri for introducing this bill again in the 118th Congress and for always being a fierce advocate for our nation's job creators. And additionally, I hope that as this Congress progresses, we can continue to look for bipartisan ways to make uh, the SBA Office of Advocacy more effective in helping our small businesses uh, across the country. With that, I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman uh, from Texas reserves. The gentlewoman from New York is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield myself such time as I may consume. Mr. The gentlewoman Speaker, is recognized. I rise in support of H.R. 399, the Small Business Advocacy Improvements Act of 2023. Let me begin by welcoming the new chairman of the Small Business Committee, Mr. Williams. The committee has a long tradition of setting partisan differences aside and working together on behalf of America's small businesses. And I'm glad we are off to a good start in the 118th Congress. Today, we are considering three bills that overwhelmingly passed the House in the last Congress. As the chairwoman of the House Small Business Committee in the 117th Congress, I work closely with my colleagues on the committee and stakeholders to craft dozens of bills that will increase access to capital, expand opportunities for free and low-cost counseling, and boost entrepreneurship. The three bills we are considering today are a product of that hard work, and I'm hopeful that we will continue in the spirit of bipartisanship and focus on the areas of agreement throughout the 118th Congress. Turning to our first bill, the Office of Advocacy was established in 1976 to be an independent voice for small businesses within the federal government and is tasked with representing the views of small businesses before Congress, the White House, and other federal agencies. To that end, the office has regional advocates on the ground that provide outreach to small businesses, local chambers of commerce, and other associations to hear firsthand the concerns of small businesses. The office works closely with federal agencies to elevate these concerns throughout the rulemaking process. Over the years, their hard work has saved small businesses billions of dollars in regulatory costs while still accomplishing the important goals of their regulations. However, their charter does not specifically state that they have the authority to represent the views and interests of small businesses before foreign governments and international entities. H.R. 399 will simply clarify that the Office of Advocacy has the authority to examine international economic data and represent small businesses in international discussions, particularly in trade negotiations. I want to thank Chairman Williams, Mr. Luke Meyer, Mr. Carter, Mr. Enfume for their bipartisan work on this bill. Mr. Speaker, I urge my colleagues to support this bipartisan bill and I reserve the balance of my time. The gentlewoman from New York reserves. The gentlewoman from, the gentleman from Texas is recognized. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. And I, too, want to just briefly say I look forward to working with the ranking member to get some really good things done. At this time, I'd like to yield as much time as may consume to my dear friend, a great patriot uh, from Missouri, uh, uh, Mr. Lukemeyer. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in support of my bill, H.R. Uh, 399, the Small Business Advocacy Improvements Act of 2023. America's regulatory environment plays a huge role in the way small businesses operate. They don't have access to the teams of lawyers needed to navigate the maze of government red tape that currently exists. 
They certainly don't have the resources to make their voices heard on the international stage. This bill, which is identical to the bill that passed the House in the 117th Congress, gives small businesses that voice. Specifically, H.R. 399 gives the Small Business Administration's Office of Advocacy the authority to represent small business interests before foreign governments and international entities. That representation is critical as the government renews and negotiates trade agreements and international commerce. Thank you to my colleague, Congressman Troy Carter from Louisiana, for working with me in a bipartisan manner to improve the SBA's Office of Advocacy. And I want to thank Chairman Williams for helping bring this legislation forward and congratulate him on his new role as chairman of the Small Business Committee. As a proven champion for Main Street America, small businesses are in good hands with Chairman Williams at the helm. I recommend a yes vote on this bill that puts America's small businesses first, and I'll yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman from Texas reserves, the gentlelady from New York is recognized. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I have no further uh, speakers, and I'm prepared to close. Woman reserves, the gentle, gentleman from Texas is recognized. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I have no further speakers, and I'm prepared to close. Gentleman reserves. Gentlewoman from New York is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I would like to thank Representatives Luke Meyer, Carter, and Mr. Enfume for their work on this bill that will give small businesses a strong voice in the international regulatory arena. All too often, small businesses' views are drawn out by larger companies with sophisticated legal departments and armies of lobbyists. SBA's Office of Advocacy works tirelessly to ensure that small business interests are heard and at all levels of government. And now that the world is more connected, more and more small businesses are participating in the global economy. Looking ahead, they will need a strong voice advocating on their behalf in international discussions and trade negotiations. And the Office of Advocacy is ready willing and able to assume this responsibility. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I yield two minutes to the gentleman from Louisiana, Mr. Carter. The gentleman is recognized. Mr. Speaker, thank you very much. Madam Chair, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, I rise today to support Small Business Advocacy Improvement Act. Small businesses help make up the foundation of our country's economy, with over half of Americans owning or working for small businesses. As a driving force behind our economy, it's crucial that the government uplift them at every possible point. This bill clarifies the function and duties of the Office of Advocacy of Small Business Administration to allow the Office of Advocacy to represent the views and interests of small businesses before foreign governments and international entities. This will allow the American small businesses to better be represented in international markets and in negotiations of foreign entities. Whether domestic or abroad, our small businesses deserve a seat at the table if discussions are going to affect the bottom line. My district is an international hub. We have some of the most important, highest traffic ports in the United States. Louisiana businesses connect with diverse companies and international markets across the globe every day. This bill will ensure that small business owners have someone at the table fighting for them. I will continue to do everything in my power to support the American small business so they can better compete in, a in the international market. I would like to take this moment to thank our chair and to thank Congressmember Luke DeMeyer for working with me on this important bipartisan bill. I urge my colleagues to support this measure and I yield back. The gentlewoman reserves, the gentleman from Texas is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days to revise and extend their remarks and submit extraneous materials. Without objection. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, small businesses are facing unprecedented economic headwinds. From broken supply chains to rising interest rates, many of these challenges are brand new for many business owners. I hope that we will be taking up meaningful legislation to help alleviate some of these large challenges, but in the meantime, we need to ensure small businesses have as many people fighting for them in Washington as possible. H.R. 399 will allow Main Street to have one more voice looking out for their interests as trade regulations are being developed. This was the potential to open up new markets and expand their reach into, global, into the global economy. And I urge all my colleagues to support this legislation. I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields. The gentlewoman from New York is recognized. 
I yield back. The gentlewoman yields. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and pass the bill H.R. 399? Those in favor say aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, two-thirds being in the affirmative, the rules are suspended, the bill is passed, and without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table.